to vlogmas day nine it is the ninth correct yes it's monday the ninth it's monday <laughs> but it's the first monday of winter break because i have officially posted all of my grades so i am completely done with the fall semester and i am very excited about that i'm gonna grab Box number nine. It, ooh, it's a big one and it's a heavy one. Let's go sit down. As you can probably hear, I still have my cold. It didn't magically go away overnight while I slept. I did manage to sleep, so that's good. Oh, it's such a bright sunny day. It was so cloudy and rainy yesterday, and then today it's just bright sunshine. I've got all my windows open because it's still not that cold outside. I'm trying to just not power through the cold but just not let it get me down. I'm on winter break. I still have plenty of time before Christmas. I need to start copy editing. Mom has been copy editing so she has sent me her edits for the first I think 12 chapters so she's almost or actually I think she is about halfway through the book maybe slightly more than halfway through the book so I'm gonna start copy editing her copy edits if that makes sense I'm just gonna go through and make all the changes that she has flagged um, and then see if I can spot any errors that she missed so I'm gonna try to start working on that I'd love to get through at least a few chapters today. I mean, I, d I don't even know if you can hear that. I don't think that's thunder, but I don't know what that noise would be. I mean, there are some clouds over the buildings I guess it could be thunder, but I also can't tell if it's just someone is, like, is making a lot of noise somewhere. That was weird. That was weird. What was I saying? Oh, the, the book. Yeah, so I need to be doing, I need to be doing, like, at least five or six chapters a day if I'm going to get the copy editing done by the end of this week. There it is again. That has to be thunder. My phone's in the other room. There are some big clouds over the building next door to me, and so it is possible that up over the mountain by me, there's a big storm cloud brewing. Do I run out to Costco now? Or do I wait? Can you hear that? I don't even know if you guys can hear it, but I think that is thunder. I'm gonna go try to peek out one of my other windows too and just see what I can see. I mean, sometimes storms pass really quickly. Other times, oh no, that is thunder. That's thunder. <laughs> They're not looking as dark on the camera, but those are storm clouds and they go all the way up over there. Let me see what the weather forecast is for today. I'm gonna have to shut this window. I'm gonna do that now before I forget because otherwise rain tends to blow in there but it's not showing any rain it's showing all sun for today that is so weird well I was thinking of going to Costco closer to three it's currently 20 to two so I've got about an hour and a half before I was thinking of going anyway so I'm just gonna wait and see what that cloud does if it's blowing 
this way or if it's going north or south. That's crazy. Let's do the advent calendar. Ooh. It is Kai by Gay Straza is the brand and it's body lotion. Oh, I can't read the ingredients. Oh, but thankfully it says in nice bigger font, sulfate free, paraben free and phthalate free. This is a really good sized bottle too. I'm not going to be able to smell much, but let's see. I don't know what the scent is. It's a, it's floral, but my, my, my nose is broken right now. It smells pretty. And I know I recognize it. I just, because I can't smell properly, <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it smells really pretty. It just says a light blend of exotic perfumes and natural essences in a base of naturally moisturizing ingredients. It's from Malibu, California. So, Californian brand. Cool. I'm very happy about that. I've just been watching Vlogmas videos. Fleur de Force uploaded part one of her Vlogmas, and it just... She's one of the YouTubers that got me, like, thinking maybe I should do my own channel, and she's the first YouTuber that I was really, like, obsessively watching, and so I absolutely love her videos, and I totally understand her not doing daily Vlogmas anymore, but I'm still so grateful and happy that she does kind of a weekly Vlogmas. That was fun. I watched that, and then I watched Lydia's, and I've got, I think I've got two of... Susie from Hello October and two from Alex from I Covet Thee. Um, so I think I'm going to take a break from Vlogmas watching for now and try to copy edit a couple chapters um, and then maybe watch some Vlogmas, then go out to Costco and come back take a little bit of a break because I know I'm going to need to recover from Costco and then do some more copy editing and just kind of bounce back and forth between relaxing and copy editing. I will keep you posted on how quickly I get through each chapter. I already mentioned I posted my grades, so I feel like I have been pretty productive. That did It didn't take me long, but because of my cold, I'm just going a little bit slowly. The sun is starting to go away now. Let's see. Is it going to storm here? I mean, I need to go to Costco, but I won't lie. I would not mind it. It doesn't look like it. I think... Oh, I can't tell what direction the clouds are going. It's either going to come right over me or it's going to, like, go right around me. So I will keep you updated on the storm as well. But I'm... Before I get any more distracted, I'm going to go do some copy editing. Because... Even though it's called self-publishing, the book isn't going to publish itself. I still have to publish the book. And before I can do that, I've got to edit the book. So let's go do that. Okay, I interrupt this editing session. Um, it's hailing now. Uh, we have 
officially entered crazy times. I don't know if I can show you. It's really little hail. It's not big hail. But I still can't remember. I don't think it's ever hailed here in my apartment complex. So um, let me see if I can show you some of the little tiny hailstones. I think the hail has stopped. It seems like it's calming down, but I have a video that I'm gonna put on Instagram that I'll try to insert here. But I need to go to Costco. I mean, I thought it was gonna rain. I didn't think it was gonna hail. This is crazy. Okay, I'm now blinded by sunlight, but if I flip the camera around, like, behind me is all blue skies. In front of me, you can see what's left of the storm. So that's the storm, and then we've got a big bit of sun, and then a few more of the storm clouds, but then behind is all, like, blue skies. So I'm at Costco. I made myself get out of the apartment and go to Costco because I really need some of the things on my list, but I still just do not feel good. But I got through the prologue, which is short, and the first two chapters. Um, so I'm about a third of the way through my goal for the day. I might not get through all six of the first six chapters today, but I'm gonna get through as many as possible. I feel like if I can do five to six, five to six every day this week I will get through the book and if I can get the copy editing done by the end of this week then that means I can focus on formatting and then actually publishing this weekend and the very beginning of next week so yeah so for now I'm taking a break going to Costco and it's about 3 41 so I'm hoping to be home I'm hoping to be leaving by 4.41, 4.40 ish, so that I'm home by five at the latest. So, let's see. quarter to five so I made it home in perfect timing um, Costco was busy but not as busy as it could be um, and I was able to get up to one of the self checkouts right away there was no line so that was all good I got everything on my list I'm gonna start editing again get my laptop open back up try to get through at least another two chapters and edit until six that gives me an hour and 15 minutes so we'll just see how far I can get in that much time and I will check in with you guys
Okay, I'm admitting defeat for now. I'm only up to page 46 of the manuscript, so I'm still not even through the... <sighs> so tired. Still not even through the third chapter. I think I'm getting close to the end of the third chapter, though. So I might try to finish it later tonight before I go to sleep. But I think I'm only going to get three chapters <laughs> done today. I'm kind of bummed about, but I can try to get more done tomorrow. I just, I can't focus. It's getting late. I'm getting tired. It's six o'clock. I need to eat. I can't breathe. <laughs> um, so I just, it's not, it's not good. This isn't working. I've put a post of my music influences while writing the book. I've put a post about that in the Facebook group. Um, so if you are not a member of the Facebook group for the book, just search um, Across the Pond Book on Facebook and you will find it. I've been sharing lots of um, exclusive content on there, introducing people to the characters of the book and some behind the scenes type stuff. So, yeah. So I think I'm going to stop and go make dinner. I really can't breathe. Like, if I close my mouth, I can't breathe at all. Oh, I hate being sick. I was telling Tamsin earlier that, you know, I'm always a bit of a baby when it comes to being sick. Like, I'm not, I'm not good at being sick. I just, I whine, and I moan, and I complain, and I'm pathetic, but I feel like I can, I can, power through it and tolerate it like I can try to be a grown-up about it you know once a year but I've already been through all of this <laughs> I did all of this a month ago I'm done so I told her I'm just going to be complaining a lot this time because it's just it's not fair <laughs> it's so not fair so I'm I'm really really pathetic and miserable right now so I'm going to make some dinner and eat before it gets too late and then probably go get in bed in a couple hours at like 8 o'clock. And then I need to try to go to sleep. I really can't breathe. Like, I can just feel it. Oh, I hate this. Anyway, I'm going to stop complaining. I'm going to put my computer down. Go get dinner. Cozy up on the couch for a little while. And just rest. And then go to sleep. <sighs>